Hello. Yes, the fight goes on. Trumpism, as it's now being described, has left an amazing legacy for white nationalists in America. Trumpism has brought to the attention of tens of millions of white Americans the danger now posed by third world immigration entering America at the southern border. They know more than ever that not just the American way of life, the American dream, but their very existence is now in peril. Also, millions of Afro-Americans and Hispanics will also be aware the danger third world immigration poses to their way of life, to the American dream, their happiness. They know more than probably we do that that is now under threat from third world immigration. They know probably more than us because they've fled these countries. They've found sanctuary in America and they've built decent lives, a lot of them. And they'll understand more than ever the dangers posed by third world immigration. But what's more important to us is the tens of millions of white people in America that have now been radicalized that are ripe and ready for white nationalism in America. Sadly, white nationalism in America is controlled by the enemy in the form of Dr. David Duke, Richard Spencer. They work for the Southern Poverty Law Center, so don't expect any direction from them. They will lead it down a dead end road that they've been leading for many, many years. We need new white nationalist leaders in America that can also appeal to the Afro-American community, the Hispanic community, in a way Donald Trump did, but probably even better. We need to explain to them that we're your friend, not the multicultural loonies that are destroying America, Britain, and the rest of Europe. We are your friend. We need new white nationalist leaders, right? Because there are tens of millions of white people there ready for white nationalism. Here in Britain, there is still everything to fight for. We need to get back into the Islamic republics and start winning council seats again, like we did in Stoke, Barking in Dagenham, Burnley. We need to get back into these places because the support's there. In fact, it's probably even more. They're just waiting for the right leader. At the moment, we have Nigel Farage. He's picked up the banner. He will do for now. He will lay the foundations. He will show the way. He will give us inspiration and hope. Then white nationalism then needs to take the banner and continue with our path to victory. Because we can do this more than ever. Sadly, Nick Griffin's abandoned us for money, ego and stupidity. Coming out of this nonsense back to the land. Let's separate from the system. Grow your own veg in the back garden and your potatoes or whatever. Utter nonsense and he knows it is. He's abandoned us once he achieved his goal, which was just to be elected to the European Parliament for uh, pennies and pounds, ego status. That's all he joined the BMP for. And he's coming out with nonsense now and he knows he is. We're fighting for our very existence, Nick Griffin. And you're coming out about nonsense, separate from the system. We need to change the system, not separate from it. But Trumpism in America has left an amazing legacy. White nationalists now need to take advantage of. There'll be more videos. Okay, thank you.